Okay, today we're going to look at a project that determines whether or not a given year is a leap year or not. Pretty simple program, but does involve the use of input from the user as well as conditionals uh, that we'll talk about and, and are both are vital in many, many programs. So it's good, good to get started on them now. Okay, so let's make a new project. And we're going to call it leap year. We're going to use the project folder as our root for source and class files as we have before. We're just going to click finish. Okay, so here's our project. Let's add a class. And we're going to give it a public static void main, which is again our entry point into our program and where we're going to start executing the code. Oh, and don't worry about this use of the default package discourage for now. This is for much more complicated uh, programs and you don't have to worry about it for now. Okay, so here's our sort of um, template. So let's fill in some comments here. Okay, so in this program, unlike our Hello World program where we just basically printed something out, in this program we need to get input from the user. And in order to do that, we're going to import a library um, called the scanner. Notice here it's, it's underlined in orange because it says basically, hey, you're importing this library, but you're never using it. So again, this is, this is a, an Eclipse uh, IDE thing that it's telling us. So, but, let's, but we will use it, so don't worry. So we're going to uh, do some initialization here. And we're going to call our scanner SC. It could be anything. Now, because scanner is a class, all right, so let, let's actually break this down a little bit. The scanner is, this is the type, this is a class, and SC is a particular instance of this class. You can also think of it as a variable name, although there's a subtlety there that we'll talk about in a little bit. In order, so in order to do that, we, we use the keyword new. So we're basically creating a new scanner, and we're saying, hey, what stream do you want to be looking at? Uh, do what stream, what input stream, and this is system.in. We could also use, you know, this, for example, could alternatively be like a file, like a text file, um, but we're just going to use the input. Um, so th this scanner, Java, is sort of inherently an object-oriented programming language, which means that everything is a class, as I mentioned before. See here, here's our leap year class. And uh, this SC here is an instance of this class. So, for example, um, in the real world, you, you might have a class called apple and that sort of has apples have general properties like color and taste and things like that and an instance of that class would be for example this apple on my desk right now that's an instance of the class apple okay so that's a little, that's enough of that for now but we'll, we'll come back to that again so we're also gonna we're gonna have our declare our year now some people, you know, might say that, oh, you shouldn't have this comment here because it's clear that what you're doing. And I, maybe that's true. I, I tend to favor more commenting rather than fewer. That's just sort of the style that has worked for me. But, um, but yeah, that, that, that's what I... So other people may take issue with the fact that I'm not really explaining what I'm doing here, but that's okay. Okay, so let's um, prompt the user for, for the year. And we're going to, so we're going to say system.out.print. Now notice we're not going to say print line because we don't want to have a new line. And so we're going to say enter a year. Space there. Okay. And now we're going to use our scanner 
to you and the next it int method, which basically reads in the next integer from our input stream. And so you've noticed that we've declared year as an integer. If you need to remember what an integer is, look it up on Wikipedia, but basically it's any number from negative infinity to positive infinity that is a whole number. So like 0, 1, 2, 3, negative 1, 2, 3 um, are integers, but 1.5 is not an integer. Okay, so we're going to get the next year. And this, so integers just specifies the type, you know, how, what kind of variable our year is, just like scanner describes what kind of variable SC is. And so now, and now that we're, this is a subtlety, but now that we're finished using the scanner, we're actually going to close it using this. And this just basically says, okay, scanner, you don't need to be checking for any more input. And in, you know, technically we could run this program without calling this line, but it's, it's just good form to do it, especially sometimes if you have, you're opening lots of different um, streams of things, especially when you're working with files, it's just good habit to sort of always close that connection. Now we're going to make our conditions uh, conditional statement that tests whether or not the year is is a leap year. So uh, we're going to use an if else ladder, some, some, as, as it's sometimes called. So we're going to check whether year. Okay. So the the first condition is our year has to be divisible by four. And notice here I'm using the mod or modulus operator right there, which is basically the same thing as the remainder operator. So for example, 9 mod 4 is 1, 8 mod 4 is 0, 10 mod 4 is 2. So if year is divisible by 4 equals 0, and year is divisible by 100, we don't want that to be equal to 0. So basically, a year is a leap year if it's divisible by 4, but not by 100. Okay. And so there's our statement, um, and we're going to say system dot dot print line, and we're going to say we're going to say what the year is because that's handy. We're going to say year plus space is a uh, year, right? So that basically prints out the year that we've given it, and also prints this little message. Um, so then, so if this is the case, if this is true, this statement is true, then this statement will execute. If it's not true, then we go to another, an else if statement. So if, so if our year is divisible by 400, then we also have a leap year. Okay, and but if this isn't true either, so if it's not, so if neither of these two statements is true, then we we sort of have a catch-all, which is our else statement, right? And here we just say year is not a leap year. Okay. Now, one thing to know about these conditions is and really in all um, Boolean operations is that we could have combined um, this statement here with this statement, right? We could just say if it's either, you know, we could take this whole statement and then or it with this statement. So if either this whole thing is true or this is true, then we say it's a leap year. But this is an example where personally, I think it's it, it's more intuitive to sort of break these two things apart, even though what's in the loop is is the same, or what's in excuse me, what's in the conditional block is the same. Um, you know, space is free basically, so don't worry about making code that's a little bit long if it's more clear. That's my personal opinion. Okay, so let's um, compile this and see what we get. Okay, so here we're going to test it. So Let's test it with 1900. Right, 1900 should not be a leap year because it is, while it's divisible by four, it's also divisible by 100. Um, so that's bad. 
that means it's not a leap year. If we try it with 2013, that's not a leap year because it's not divisible by four. But let's try it with 19, uh, it's 2004. That should be a leap year. Yep. And let's just try one more. 2000, which while divisible by four and 100 is also divisible by 400. So it should be a leap year. Good. So looks like we got it. That's all for now, and good luck in your future projects.